Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today is gonna be an awesome day. I'm super excited. Both of my wastegates have come in by AMUSA or AMUSA. I'm super thrilled. Let's dig on in. I wanna show you all about this wastegate. All right, so this is a, not a true yet untrue unboxing. I kind of opened everything off camera first to make sure all the goodies are here. But uh, real quick, this is what you get. I will say right off the bat, the packaging is great. This box actually come inside of a USPS box. So I will say packaging right up front, it's great. Uh, there's no issues with anything. So let's go ahead and start with the meat and potatoes. Uh, this is Amusa's Wastegate. It's their 38 millimeter. And um, I will say, pulling it right out of the box, I am super, super impressed at the machinery, the quality, um, the dexterity of it. It's, it's, it's pretty much up there with, I think, with some of these expensive guys. Um, I don't have anything to compare side by side, but I will say, you know, looking at the tiles, looking at the precisions, looking at the turbo smarts, all these wastegates, uh, there are some differences. At the end of the day, they're gonna do the same thing. How long this lasts compared to the name brand, I don't know, but I'm definitely willing to give it a shot because for $68, guys, you cannot beat this. You know, it's, it's cast, it's a cast uh, housing with billet aluminum top part. Uh, what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna dig into this here uh, in just momentarily, we're gonna open this up. I wanna go ahead, bench side here in my shop. We're gonna put a, my compressor on it and we're gonna see actually if the spring rating that they say is in here is in here. They say 14, that there's six, eight, and uh, 14 total. So we'll see. There's also two additional springs that it came with. We got the bottom clamp. That's for the actual bottom part of the turbo. We actually got the dump tube clamp for this part right here. And we also have the firing, which I'll show you here momentarily. Uh, we got the banjo bolts that we can hook it up to the cold side of your uh, turbo. And we've got some plugs in case you got to, uh, if you need those too. So real quick at a glance, uh, let me flip this upside down and show you here. Uh, I was kind of looking off camera at this piston here and the machining is, is pretty superb. You know, for uh, this, you know, car part to be $68 and supposed to, you know, uh, regulate my boost and what, what I'm trying to push into this motor is, man, I'm kind of blown away. So this is the firing. And as you see there, it has that taper mark. What it does, as soon as you set this inside the piston here, it acts as a complete seal. You see that, guys? Go ahead and lift up and set it in there so when you put this housing on the bottom and you put the v-clamp on and tighten it down this seat will actually sit down inside the the housing here and do a complete seal uh, same with the dump tube uh, v-band so let me go ahead and show you what, what everything looks like all together and i'll be right back all right so here's the the bottom v-band and i'm going to tell you right up front <laughs> I was kind of blown away too at the machining on this. The craftsmanship and quality, guys, that's almost matching what I, I see in the tiles. I will say this looks more like a mild steel versus like a, a stainless. And I can't tell off, but I think this might even be uh, casting. I'm not 100% sure, but I will tell you the de dexterity. Um, <clears throat> You can't beat it, and for six to eight bucks. Uh, so essentially, let's say the fire ring is in there. I can't do this yet because I don't have my clamp, but that will actually go flush. Then I'll set this down here. This is the part that gets welded to my exhaust system, and then this will sit on top like that, and then it'll get locked in with a V clamp. So in theory, I'm gonna say this is already in there, right, guys? So. This gets put on like that, and clamp, 
goes on that fast, that simple, no issues, and done. Call that a day. But that's how it'll sit. It's gonna sit flush right on my exhaust. I'm gonna get that welded on. And this part right here is the actual dump tube. So the same as the bottom portion that gets um, welded to the exhaust, same thing here. My dump tube, I wanna weld to this part here. And you're just gonna simply attach it to that with your clamp. Like this. And call that a day. Just like that. Oops. Done. All right, so what's really cool too is it comes with the plugs like I did mention. Um, how I'm gonna actually have mine installed and I'll show you in the next episode is I want this piece with the banjo bolt uh, on the mirror side. So I'm gonna have it right here, okay? And let's go ahead and show you here. And it does come with the two washers. And it gets screwed in here just like that. One second. Technical difficulties. It's always when we're filming, right? Right. Okay, so that's just going to get screwed in there like that. And uh, this is actually going to go to the cold side of the turbo. I'll run a line to that. And when the turbo builds boost, it pushes the air through here, opens up the diaphragm, and then we'll open up this piston here which this will lift off. The exhaust comes in through here. Whatever I don't need gets pushed out this dump tube. So that's as essentially what that's designed for. And I'm gonna use this side for my plugs, like that. And this one here. Like that. Got one more right up top. And so when you're running a boost controller, which I will be using um, this one up top by running a line that will be teed off my boost controller is gonna allow me to change my boost. So if I wanted to go from six to eight, I literally click my boost controller and it's gonna fight on top of the piston the other direction. So this feeds from the turbo housing pushing the piston up and this pushes it down. So it kind of keeps it exactly where you need that to be. Um, and then I'll go ahead and put my other plug in right here. And we're gonna have, go ahead and get this tightened down and y'all meet me in the shop. We're gonna do some bench testing, see what these spring ratings are. Stay tuned. All right, so off camera here, I got my, uh, my good old C-clamp and I just put my lever there on the piston and the top part on the aluminum housing that I have it wrapped by this uh, cloth or bandana here for scratching purposes. All right, then you wanna just tighten it down and take your Allen key and go ahead and um, unscrew these. And this is gonna be under a lot of pressure. So that's what's important about, uh, you know, keeping it clamped down. So uh, let me skip through all this mundane footage and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we come back. All right, sorry guys, I had to do that off camera, but this was under a lot of pressure. So I highly advise using some sort of a C-clamp because uh, it probably would have damaged the screws considering one of these have to be the last one to come out. And with that spring rate, it would have probably bent and messed up all the threads. So definitely use a C-clamp on removing the top part housing. Uh, the top just comes off like that. 
and as you see there's two springs setting in here so i'm guessing one is the eight pound which let's see I'll tell you now let's move this out of the way yeah i think this is definitely the eight pound and that's definitely the six pound so both of those together is 14 um, pounds of boost. So I'll be using the six, but to kind of show you guys the internals here, uh, that's the actual diaphragm. And let's take a look. And the quality looks pretty, pretty up there. Um, and what you want to do to, I guess you would want to call it bulletproof these. Uh, we can go ahead and get another small hex, take out these three, and uh, put some blue Loctite on there and put them back in. Uh, let's flip it over the other way here. And that's, that's awesome. Moves freely. So with this spring here on top, and with, of course, the cap on, pushing this up here like that, that's six pounds of boost. So as soon as this opens, the exhaust will come in here and come out the dump tube there. But uh, let's get looking at these other springs in the bag. All right, guys, so these two here on the right were the ones that just came out of the wastegate itself. Um, and these are the two that come in the bag and I'll tell you right up front uh, These are all different. So what I'm gonna have to do like I mentioned earlier is head out to the shop and do a, a compressor test To see what these are because nothing is labeled tile some of the other uh, major brand name brand guys they use coloration to determine but uh, not EMUSA or EMUSA. So let's go take a look. Okay, so uh, like I was just mentioning, these two are in the actual wastegate. So this is the eight, this is the six. So it's 14 together. I did some more research and come to find out this one's a 10 and this one's a four. So essentially they have four, six, eight, and a 10 pound spring, which is nice to know. But uh, you guys stick around so we can get this tested. All right, so we're out here. Got the wastegate here on my vise. Got the tank hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, tube up to uh, the wastegate. And you're going to listen for the sound. You're going to also see this open. That will determine what pound spring that we actually have in here. So let's check it out. Second. There we go. All nice and tight. Here we go, guys. You can hear that instantly. Uh, that moved about two, maybe one, one pound here. And you see it going down slowly. And it stopped. So I'm trying to do this with both hands, so it's kind of hard to grab the camera. Uh, to show you, but this is right around, looks like six pounds, which is what that spring indicated. So I'll go ahead and turn it back off and it shuts. Boost again, off, boost again, and off. So theoretically, this is what the wastegate is designed to do is to open up and let all the excess exhausts fumes out and uh so we have determined guys that this truly is in fact um a six pound spring so um here is what i was actually using on my reservoir here and um it was right on that next mark a little bit over so that's uh right in between five and ten according to this so uh i, I definitely believe it was the six pound mark that we did show here. So again, guys, I hope this helps you all, you know, determine what spring you have in your wastegate. Um, pretty simple task. You just need an air tank, 
and um, you know a reservoir with a gauge on it and some sort of hose apparatus to where you can get air from here to your actual you know, uh, waste gate. So until then, guys, next time, I appreciate the comments, the likes, and all the subscribes. God bless.